Okay, guys. This is the end. Well, not the end product, but the product's going to shoot. Stop. Marlene, can you, cr Next dip. Can you front crunch that up for me? Um, I got to hold it with both hands or I'm going to shake the puke right out of people. <laughs> You want it to snap. Is yeah. it crunchy enough? Yeah. It's okay. Crunchy. All right. Next step is put it in a coffee grinder or whatever. If you have a running bullet thing, you can use that. But, eh, coffee grinder works just fine. I don't have to do a lot at once. Uh-uh. Hold on. Stop for a minute. I'll get us a cord. Okay. We can do it all right here. Be right back. Okay, we're back. We found the cord. All right. Now, I don't know if all the coffee grinders have it, but this one has different size grain grinds. grinds. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to go for the... Uh, fine grind so it's how about like, how like about the middle espresso coffee yeah okay then Are i think sure all you have you to do to no i'm not sure anything but okay oh wait this one doesn't hit the top of it Now see how that's breaking that up. Okay. okay. That should be good enough. That's, that's what it's going to look like. Um, Alright, we'll get this whole thing ground up and in a jar and we can make the comparison on the size okay be right back okay people <laughs> we're finally done um this is basically the size jar we started with is a quart jar quart jar quart jar this the bag is what a quart bag is a quart bag it would have fit in this bag. Yeah. And so you can see the difference in size, and it takes quite a bit of weight off of it. And that amount could That's fit inside a sandwich bag. Or less. Or maybe even a snack bag. I'm not yeah. sure. But it's not that, it's not that uh, much. And it's what we say, a two-to-one mixture, mm -hmm. two teaspoons of hot water and a teaspoon of that, and you'll have some salsa. And there's no refrigeration needed. You could put it in a jar or just, you know, keep it in a baggie and try and press as much air out as you can. Uh, and it'll last you whew, even longer. A, a long, long time. Okay? All right. Try it. Let me know what you guys think, okay? Bye. Woo -hoo. All right. Go for it. How long will that last? Okay. This will last you approximately three to six months. It depends on how much salsa that you eat. And it depends on... How much you're sticking your hands in and out of the bag, you know, in mm -hmm. other words, getting the food dirty. But, it, in other words, it has a shelf life of three to six months. So, okay. if you eat a lot of salsa, then you can do up several of these and hit the road and, you know, you've got plenty of salsa to take with you. 
Okay, what about if, if, if I knew how to vacuum seal, how long would it last? Um, probably, I would say six to nine months okay. minimum. Right. Because the vacuum sealing, maybe even up to a year, if you get a good vacuum seal on it, or you put it in something like this, which is a Mylar bag. Oh, uh, that's like a potato chip bag, <coughs> right? Right. Okay. It does not allow any kind of sunlight or, okay. you know, store lights or anything to get into the food, which breaks the food down. Putting it in something like this, then you're going to get more than a year's shelf life out of it. Okay. So... All right, well, guys, we're going to see what else we can get into, and we'll let you know, okay? See you later. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. <laughs>